Hey everyone, welcome back to KDX Bricks Analytics. Two videos ago, we looked at all of the top sets from the January 1st to January 31st data set. And in this video, we're gonna look at the not top sets. We always gotta do one and then the other. That way we know which sets I like to look at for investing and which sets I like to avoid for investing. And although I pretty much agree with every set on this list, at the end, I'm gonna tell you the three sets that I do disagree with or kind of disagree with that I think could actually be okay investments or even pretty good investments, but at the end, I'll show you those. Here's our table on the left for the month of January 2024. I watched 33 videos on YouTube about Lego investing and reselling. That was across eight channels. And in those videos, Lego sets were mentioned 278 times. Most of them, of course, were in favor of investing, but there are always some that are against investing. So I calculate and grab and tabulate all of that data. And now we're talking about the not top sets for January. First one to look at is 21327, the ideas typewriter. Pretty good set, honestly. All the printed letters are really good and all of the sand green pieces are really good. And then on top of it, it actually works. You can slide it and I forget the name for what that mechanism contraption is. Sorry about that, but you can slide it, you can hit keys and some of these elements here swing up. Obviously doesn't actually type anything, but it does all of the motions. Got the little switch over here. So there's a lot I like about the set in general. I don't think I want one for my own collection. I probably won't invest in it because it is $250 for just over 2,000 pieces. Really expensive, but maybe it'll be on a huge discount because down here on Brickset, it does have a 4.5, which is very high for Brickset. So for the right price, I could see this one doing well in retirement. I looked up the other idea sets and honestly, I can't find a comparable. We've got the Grand Piano that's similar, but hasn't retired yet. And then going through, there just isn't really anything that is like this. We've also got the Fender Stratocaster that we're gonna look at next, but that hasn't retired yet. And so I don't really know, but I have a hunch that because of all the printed pieces, how cool it looks to the vintage piece of machinery, the fact that it has a bunch of action features and all of the sand green pieces. This is one that I'm actually gonna watch, but I need it on a big discount. As I stated, second on the table is 21329, the Fender Stratocaster, also two mentions against investing. And this one I like, I'm gonna call this one, I did it in a couple of videos ago, but I'm still calling this one as a dark horse among the sets that are retiring at the end of this year. I really think it's flying under the radar. It's $120 for almost 1,100 pieces. So not great on price to part ratio, but it's been on sale for the high 80s, low 90s. I bet we get a shot at it once or twice, maybe even in the mid 70s. But what I like about this set is how well it's designed and all of the different elements and pieces used. The strings are done well. The shaping is great. And you even got a little whammy bar on there. Super cool. The strap looks great. We'll look at that more in a minute. Here's the top of the amp. This panel comes off and you can see all of the electronics inside. Awesome detail. The amp is almost better than the guitar. Now they're both great. Here's the back of the amp. Also more electronic detail, very accurate to the source material. Yeah, it's a lot smaller than the source material, but it's a display piece and that's really cool. And then here it is presented nicely together with the stand. Again, that strap is a really nice piece. And then last thing to point out is you can go with the red color scheme or you can go with the black color scheme. Can't do both, but it's really cool that you can pick one. I know on the surface, it seems like people that are really into playing music would be the only audience that wants this. But the more I've thought about it, I think people that like music could be interested in a set like this. I'm terrible at playing music, but I would love to get a set like this. And also a lot of people sometime in their life have picked up a guitar, they strummed it, they've tried a little bit. And so there's a lot of casual players out there that might think it's cool just to have a great display piece like this, even though they rarely pick up their own guitar and actually play it. Definitely got to get it on sale, but it's one that I'm going to keep an eye on. Sorry for that little break. My wife brought me a cup of coffee. Very nice of her. And oh boy, time to talk about Chewbacca again. 75371. This one just came out in September and it's scheduled to retire at the end of this year. Might drop off the retirement list. We don't know. And by the way, on my table, if there is an R in parentheses in front of this set number and name, it means that according to Brick Fanatics, it is on the retirement list. It is very early in 2024. So be aware that that list will change a lot throughout the year, at least through the out the first half of the year and then the second and half of the year the changes become fewer and further between but back to Chewbacca we've heard it over and over terrible set terrible set came out we all hated it honestly I didn't hate it from the start I'm one of the few that said really I would like one of these I'd love to have one on my shelf on my desk I think it looks pretty good overall a lot better than like Yoda or the child just because those were a 
blob of bricks. This one has some shaping to it, the cool crossbow and the shoulder harness. So a lot I like about it, but I gotta say it because we all say it. The face is just a big mess. Frustrating, frustrating, frustrating because it's so close. So I can see why people are gonna skip this one investing at the $200 retail price point. I am absolutely skipping it, but this one has such poor buzz. Lego, at least right now, is thinking about retiring it at the end of 24 that maybe we'll get a shot at it for 80 bucks, 100 bucks, maybe even 60 bucks. Who knows? The brick built BB-8 from a number of years back, I got for 20 bucks at Target. They were clearing out. They had four of them on the shelf. I bought one. I should have bought all four. I don't know what I was thinking. So unlikely it's a good investment, but I do want to point out that this new $100 R2-D2 that's not super big, just coming out that has the, what's the name of that minifigure? Malik, I think, I can't remember. Correct me on all this in the comments. I know I'm close, but uh, either way, we are getting this new R2-D2 that will size pretty decently with this Chewbacca. This Chewbacca, I think, is around two feet tall. Let me look here, foot and a half tall. This R2-D2 is definitely shorter than a foot and a half. Won't scale perfectly, but still, it's smaller than Chewbacca, which is good. They'll pair pretty nicely together. And compared to the R2-D2 that came Came out in 21 and is also expected to retire at the end of 2024. The new one is great. This one is terrible. It's just so meaty and beefy. There's no style to it. It's just a big blob. Again, it reminds me of the Yoda and child from the past. So I did not like this one. And I started thinking maybe Lego just can't shape and fit all their pieces together to make a decent looking R2-D2. But then they came out with this one that I think is a huge improvement from any in the past. So again, R2-D2 with Chewbacca. And then lastly, according to Brick, economy and a couple other sites there's rumors out there that a buildable c3po will be coming out here very soon let's estimate august of 2024 150 dollars set 75398 so we'll have a 200 dollars chewbacca 150 dollars c3po and 100 dollars r2d2 and those three might go well together so something to think about with this set but so far i agree i am skipping it for investing next up is 76405 the hogwarts express collector's edition this is 500 dollars and it doesn't even fit on the standard Lego train track. It is too wide for that. It looks amazing. The interior detail is amazing. But again, it's $500. It is scheduled to retire at the end of this year. If we put in Hogwarts Express into brick set, here's, I think it's the same set. So one, two, three, four, five, six. It looks like seven that Lego has produced at this point. None of the new play scale sides are going to do well. There's just way overproduced. So the big question is will there be a market? for a huge display piece that goes right across your fire mantle. There will be some people, some, some people have clearly bought it, but if you buy it at MSRP, are people gonna be willing to pay 750 to $1,000 for this to make it worth your time at all? I don't think so. Maybe there will be a huge sale on it and it would be worth looking at, but unless it's more than 50% off, like 200 to 225, which I know is asking way too much for this set or asking way too much for the consumer for this set, but unless it's that, I'm skipping. It. Now, the rest of the sets on the table only have one mention against investing, but we will keep adding to this table as we get more monthly data throughout the year. Next one up is 10303, the Loop Coaster. I agree, the previous roller coaster that retired in 2021 retailed for 380 and it's only going for 353. So I am skipping the Loop Coaster. 10306, the Atari 2600. This is such a cool looking set. $240, not bad on the price for what you get, but I still want a really good discount on it. We've also got the Nintendo Entertainment System. Doesn't have any mentions on our Not Top Sets table. But when I compare the two, this one has a lot of gray and brown and just a little bit of color in there. Whereas the Atari has the black with the brown, which I think looks good. The joystick, the cartridges, and then these little side builds that are like three-dimensional representations of the games themselves. And then Lego added this interesting action feature of a basically micro-scale kid playing the console that flips out from the center here. Kind of weird, but at the same time, it's kind of an interesting element to add to everything else that's in this set. Between these two, I personally would rather have the Atari. I actually played one when I was a kid. It was my parents and it was like right before it was dying off completely. But I just like how this one looks. Yes, there is a nostalgic component to me. I played the NES also and there's a nostalgic component, but I like the Atari better. NES is getting a lot more buzz though and is expected to be a much better investment. But the only thing I 
would say is you can buy an Atari and there's a you know culture out there right now where everything that's old is kind of coming back a lot of retro things out there that people like and so I'm wondering if maybe there's a little bit of a resurgence between the fact that you can get an Atari and also you know, if we scroll down here on Amazon and look at similar stuff you can buy I forget what they're called but you can buy the little box with the joystick that has you know a thousand old school games in it that aren't being produced individually or in cartridges or anything you just basically have a CPU of all the old games so you can go get a lot of these old Atari games and play them and so I think there's a chance that the Atari nostalgia comes back my worry is that if I did invest in this it would be a super long hold time 21318 the ideas treehouse clearly one of the best selling sets that Lego has ever produced great job by the fan designer because it's been on the shelf since 2019 it's been on the retirement list multiple times theoretically it is going to retire finally retire at the end of 2024 it got a price bump a couple of years ago i think from 200 to 250 a lot of people got it at 250 a lot of people got it for less than that everybody that wants it already has it i agree i'm skipping it unless there's some massive discount right before it disappears from the shelves 21332 the globe generally i wasn't too excited about this set because it's got a lot of gaps and a lot of the continents don't look great and it is 230 dollars i bet we'll get a good shot at a good discount but the world map that just retired is already going pretty well over what people were able to get it for it was on sale a lot and well over the retail price when i factor that in and this was a set that i absolutely missed and wasn't paying attention to i'm thinking the globe's going to get a little bit of a bump but on top of it this is just a really dignified piece once you accept that the continents and the gaps aren't great and you kind of think of it like the jackson pollock or van gogh of globes and squint your eyes a little bit i think you can really appreciate the piece and i like it a lot i think it would look very professional on somebody's desk and it has some really well used and placed drum lacquered gold pieces on the stand and the cradle and then i'll zoom in real quick and show this printed tile with the framed gold pieces i think that looks really good i like the script print so there's some decent stuff with this set i think it's one that i'm going to be watching next up are three harry potter brickheads 40616 40617 and 40618 i know i didn't read off all the characters some of these characters have been made in brickheads form before some of them have not i'm going to keep an eye on them kind of if they end up actually retiring at the end of 24 and there's a chance to get them on a really good discount then maybe but otherwise i think i'm going to skip these 43213 the little mermaid storybook and also 43220 peter pan and wendy's storybook adventures i agree i'm skipping both of them some city sets from the new racing sub theme this is the combo race pack the next one is the monster truck race and we've got a new city sailboat i am passing on all three city sets typically don't do well but i do want to show you that if we search for sailboat in brick set some of them have done okay so this one that retired in 2017 up from 30 dollars to 50 dollars and this ideas gift with purchase is okay at 26 27 dollars and then here's the new one my problem is the new one is really plain looking compared to this older one and then if we also put in yacht into brick set then we can see that some other boats are pretty good like this friends dolphin cruiser 70 up to 130 that's really good but then you've got this friends party boat that's down from 80 to 70 71427 larry's and morton's airships from the mario play system i skip those generally 75313 the atat -A -T, the 850 ucs set i think it's on this table mostly because a lot of people are not going to sink eight hundred and fifty dollars into one set just too much risk and i agree with that if there's a really good discount like the ucs republic gunship got right before retirement then i would pick one or two up but it's a lot of gray but the one thing that's great about this one is that it is actually minifigure play scale so you get a ton of minifigures with it you can get some snow trooper battle packs to add to the minifigures and fill out the inside of the ship itself the vehicle itself because if you look in here there are tons of seating for snow troopers and it would be fun to fill that bad boy up i do think because it's the first ucs atat -AT, that this will be a 1500 or more set but i'm still pretty hesitant about putting 850 into one unit
Oh, and don't forget, my videos are for entertainment purposes only. I do not provide financial advice. You got to get that from somebody else. 75358, Tenu Jedi Temple from Young Jedi Adventures. It's a four plus set, really expensive at $40. A couple of decent minifigures, but they're not mainstream Star Wars minifigures. So I agree, I'm passing on that one. The Darth Vader mech, 75368. We've talked about the mechs a lot. You guys know that I hate the Darth Vader mech, absolutely passing. The Stormtrooper mech, I was kind of interested, maybe. I mean, I've become a little cool on the mechs recently. Even the Boba Fett mech, I'm not as interested. It sounds like that minifigure in the Boba Fett mech might actually not end up being exclusive and is coming out and potentially coming out in a set later this year. If that's the case, unless these things are super discounted, I'm going to skip all of them. I will be getting one of each for my own collection, even though I don't like that Darth Vader mech. Darth Vader does not need a mech, but I still want one of each for my collection. I am Groot. It's an adorable little set, but Marvel is not very popular on the secondary market right now. The Hoopty Legos joke that they pulled on all of us, 90 bucks for 420 pieces, an absolute pass for me, even on a heavy discount. Bat Cave, the Shadow Box. This one is interesting. $400, all black, all gray, but the interior detail is fantastic. The concept, the idea is fantastic. So unique that I can see a lot of people wanting it, but not a lot of people wanting to pay 400 and then on the secondary market, $700 for it. The one thing I am going to look out for is a great discount. I think it's going to run a similar course as the too large Black Panther that went on a heavy discount. If this one goes on a 40 or a greater discount, I might pick up one or two. I will really have to think about that. But I think this one has a lot of uniqueness to it. I would recommend once you build it, then string in a couple of very, very tiny LED lights just to give it a slight glow on the inside. Otherwise, it's just super dark in there. 76256 Ant-Man construction figure. Even though this one is kind of cool looking, Lego is terrible at making brick built action figures that people actually want. So I'm going to be skipping that one. 76407, the Shrieking Shack and Whomping Willow. Looks too similar to many other Harry Potter building and structure sets. And the Harry Potter theme is losing buzz pretty quickly. So absolutely skipping this one. Another Harry Potter set, 76414, Expecto Patronum. And ooh, this is a rough set. Good idea. Very poor execution, in my opinion. For me, I just hate the color. There is just not enough of the transparent, bluish, got the sparkle in pieces to really capture the mystical feel of this creature. Instead, it's just this flat blue and very little of the transparent pieces. I think it's a big miss. The stand that it's perched on looks terrible. The frame stand on the bottom here, I don't like it all. So too bad. It's not going to work out in my opinion. 76416 Quidditch trunk. I agree. It's a pass for me. The Hogwarts magical trunk just retired at the end of last year and if we go on ebay it is selling well below retail price so i don't see the new quidditch trunk being any good and now on the table we've got a bunch of speed champion sets and generally i don't agree somebody must have had a bad day and had it out for the speed champions yeah they're not the most flashy anymore they certainly don't perform anywhere close to what they did three four or five years ago but they still seem to double in money maybe a little longer hold time but they seem like they're evergreen sets and some of them i really like this one the 1970 ferrari 512m super unique compared to many in the eight stud wide lineup so i actually like this one the lotus avia is not great again i'd still pick up a few for investing remember all speed champions can be bought on discount and absolutely should be the lamborghini countach this one i really like it is a good representation of the source material and it uses really good build and design techniques these angles on the back here are well done it's that one i do like and i like the fact that in this case it's white normally i would like a little more color but i think this one looks like a perfect white classic sports car the mercedes two pack this is the cheap one at 35 dollars but one of the cars is an f1 race car which uses less pieces it's okay i would need it on a really good discount pagani utopia looks fantastic the issue is it's at the 25 dollar price point the next wave is coming out i think at the 28 dollar no maybe 27 dollar price point so it's harder to find room to make profit on the resale of these but it still looks great the porsche 963 looks great the mclaren two pack is okay also a cheaper two pack at 35 dollars. So if you get a decent discount i think it'll be okay and now a few jurassic park sets and i do not invest in the jurassic park sets this is seven six nine four six velociraptor capture yeah the dinosaur molds just don't pull as much on the secondary market anymore lego's made multiple versions of dinosaurs now lots of different print and color schemes 
And it seems like just a little bit less interest around them also. 76949, this one has these names in attack because I'm not going <laughs> to pronounce those. 76951, some names in transport. 76958, Dilophosaurus ambush. I think I got that one right. Actually not bad for 20 bucks. And this one is from the original movie. And then this next one is also from the original movie. Really good Jeep in this one. And again, the Triceratops looks pretty good. But as I said, I'm passing on all of the Jurassic park sets 71419 peaches garden balloon ride it looks fun to play with but again i pass on the mario play sets and now a bunch of avatar sets we're gonna go quickly passing on all of them unless they're 70 percent off i just picked up like 10 boxes of avatar sets all 70 or 80 percent off from walmart about a month ago in my opinion these are clear passes because they are not selling well at all this is the only one that might be of interest just because that tree is amazing but they are just not selling there's not a lot of popularity the minifigures with the nose and the ears, the taller legs, all blue has not really worked out. Cool characters, but not great in minifigure form. Nice color palette with the stand and the underwater foliage on that one. This one's kind of cool just because it's so big. And now on to another Harry Potter set, Hogwarts Astronomy Tower. Easy pass for me because it's been out since 2020. Popularity of more Harry Potter buildings is dying off big time. And now we're down to the last few sets and they are not scheduled to retire at the end of this year. The idea is grand piano looks cool but way too expensive at $400 43249 the new stitch already getting a mention against stitch is a very popular character with a lot of personality and I just don't think this brick built version captures all of that and I'm worried that it's gonna turn into Dobby where everybody says oh it's awesome that Lego made one such a popular character and when you look at it, you're like ah, it just doesn't quite fit Lego again struggles with getting the faces right but on this one just struggled with getting good lovable shapes shaping and expression in my opinion 75331 the UCS razor crest way too early to tell since it should be on the shelves for a little while longer since it's a very expensive UCS but if there's a huge discount on it maybe and then last one on the table is same story 76269 the very new large and expensive Avengers Tower this is a $500 set super cool looking but way too early to tell all right now that we've gone through the table I will give you the three that I disagree with and that I think could be okay investments and the first one is 75313 the ATAT $850 again I totally understand not wanting to invest in this set I probably won't myself unless it's a great discount but it's the first ATAT in UCS form and all the other firsts on the Star Wars UCS list have performed really well and so this one should follow suit it seems like the next one is the Fender Stratocaster I showed you all the pictures showed you everything I loved about it just looks great it's a really well done set with lots of nice lego elements and details and options and then lastly is the globe it's a great idea and it's decently executed but the stand and the cradle look fantastic and it is a very dignified looking piece so that's a wrap on this one thanks a lot for watching take care and i will see you in the next one